Hi, and welcome to Robert's DIY channel. Today I will present my robot lawnmower project. The initial goal with the robot was to keep the total component cost below $200 and build a robot that can cut a smaller area to keep the design compact and simple. This is a presentation of the design and the components used in the robot. One of the less expensive and easy to work with microcontroller is the Ordinio Uno. It's not very fast and it doesn't support multi-threading, so when using real-time sensors like on this robot, you need to make sure you use interrupts and you need to be careful when creating sensor read functions so that you don't add substantial latency. The most expensive components are the DC motors that drives the two large front wheels. The reason is that they include a gearbox to get the high torque and low RPM, in this case 30 RPM. And they also include decoders so that the Ordino can track each motor speed individually. This information is needed to make the robot drive straight and to detect if any motor is running at a low speed or get completely stuck to keep the motors from being overheated and damaged. The cutting motor is a high RPM DC motor that rotates a metal plate with three cutting knives at up to 7000 RPMs. In the future, it will be good to add an encoder so that the Ordinio can read the rotation speed and see if it's running slow to stop it from overheating and to detect where the grass is thick. Below the battery, I place two dual age bridge L298N motor drivers to drive the wheel and cutting motors. Each bridge can control two motors and you control the motor speed with PVM signals from the Ordinio. The battery is a standard 18 volt power tool battery and I used a charger that came with the tool to charge the battery. I modified the battery and charger so that I can charge the battery through a connector to a robot so I don't have to take out the battery when charging. A future goal is to make the robot self-charging when running low on power. The perimeter pulse sensors, basically a coil connected to an operational amplifier are placed on each side of the front of the robot to avoid running over the perimeter wire and to be able to follow a guiding wire back to the charging station. The ultrasonic distance sensors in the front are an extra precaution to stop the robot from colliding with objects such as humans that, that are inside the perimeter wire and gets closer than 10 centimeters in front of the robot when it's driving forward. Here you can see an early test of the cutting function and later in this clip you see the cutting power when it runs over a thick patch of grass. If you build your own robot no more, make sure to keep your fingers safe. Thank you for watching this video, please like and subscribe to this channel and let me know in the comments section below what you would like to see in the future. Thank you.